Hello comrades, this is Comrades Entertainment, and today we're doing the event, Fire and Ice. The evil beyond the portal seeks to combine the elements of frost and flame to achieve unparalleled destruction. Enemy attacks there will cause either type of elemental damage, or even both at once. Complete this event to earn valuable sigils. Complete all stages for increased rewards. And just to let you know, tomorrow's event is, once again, Unholy Quickenings, which recommends shotgun bashing weapons. But for today, we'll equip our best frost and fire resistance. See how that goes. And here we go. We're in the dungeon or the Aelid Ruins. And just to let you comrades know, this will be this will probably be the last event video I'll do. Because if you've been watching the uh, Elder Scrolls series, I have been doing the events for quite a while, and they're starting to repeat themselves. Yeah, I think uh, today's event, Fire and Frost, is probably about the third time we've done it, so this will probably be the last time I'll record it. Okay, so we got the first Aelid lever here, after defeating the flame matronauts. And once we uh, interact with that, it unlocks the gate over here. So we can continue for the main quest. Getting a bit lost. There you go. Okay, so to, to open the second locked door and continue in the main path, we got our second alien lever here after defeating the two frost astronauts. So we can head back to continue the main path as well, or we can head down here to the right and find the secret room by using the stone slab. Yeah. 
Here we go. We've got a frost throw and a golden chest. <laughs> Okay, and to end off today's events, the boss and final enemy is a fierce ancient dragon. Just before we face him, we'll try and sneak around and make sure we're not missing any loot. Okay. Quickly use a few potions, get our health back. And there we go, that final blow, we defeat the dragon. And just before we complete today's events, I'll quickly grab our daily award, which is a silver chest. So there we go. And now we just wait for the event to finish. So once again, this will probably be the last event video or two. As we have done this about three times now. So if you want to see any of the other events, just have a look back on the playlist, the Elder Scrolls Blades video, and they should all be there. I'll try and record any new and unique ones, because they do come every so often. So if there's any new ones, I'll record those. But from now on, we'll probably mainly focus on the storyline and quests of the game. Right, we're going back to today's events. The rewards are gems for each stage, and then lumber for the fifth and final stage. <clears throat> and then the sigil shop will look something like this. So we've got the lesser ring of preservation, and the wit splitter for the unique and legendary equipment. And of course, as always, we've got random mother gear, and soul gems or well, the ingredients down here at the bottom like the death bells and honey will be the same for most people all the rest however will be different depending on your level yeah that's everything for this video so thank you comrades for watching like i said i hope you enjoyed the events videos but unfortunately they're coming to the end but if you like to watch more elder scrolls blades I'll keep playing until we do all the quests, and I'll probably focus more on the Abyss and the Arena as well. But for now, that's everything for today, so I hope to see you in the next video.
Have a good rest of the day. I'll see you later. Bye for now, comrades.